Hello beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or hello if you haven't been here before. Um, in this video I'm going to do something slightly different, so I'm going to be doing sort of like a review. Um, something that I've spoken about a couple of times before um, is that I wanted to do, I've got some bubble masks that I wanted to try out, but I wanted to get a couple and almost like review them, like test them out and compare them with each other so that when if you want to go buy one, you know which is the best one to buy. Um, so I'm going to be testing and reviewing three. Now before I show you which ones they are, um, I'm not going to be doing them all in the same, filming them all at the same time, obviously it's going to be one video, but I'm going to give it like a few days between each one so I can compare the effect that it has on my skin as well. So not only the bubble effect and how cool and bubbly it is, but also does it actually do anything for my skin? So just so you know which ones I'm going to be doing, the first one that I've got is from Sephora. Now I know Sephora we don't have in the UK, but if you're living in America or Denmark or most other places, I mean France, Germany, they do have Sephora. Like I know from the UK, if we want anything from Sephora, we have to go onto the French website and that's how it gets delivered. Um, because everyone, because really annoys me that we don't have Sephora. Okay, I'm just going to get a little rant out right now. It's been on my mind for ages. I'm just going to hopefully never say it again but I just have to say it pisses me off so much that we don't have Sephora in the UK now I know that all the makeup brands like Tarte and Fenty and things that you wouldn't usually be able to get let's say in countries like Denmark they don't have that everywhere you would have to go to Sephora to get that we have that in Harvey Nicks or Selfridges or Harrods and stuff or like Huda Beauty and Anastasia Beverly Hills we have that you know shops so that's why I feel like they probably haven't brought Sephora here but Sephora do have their own products they have their own beauty stuff which like like the bubble mask that I'll show you in a minute and also other face masks they have they also have really good makeup so Sephora, hello, come to bloody UK, come to the bloody UK, okay, run over, but anywho, one of my masks is from Sephora, it's called the Bubble Mask, and it's a skin detox, and it looks like this, and you're supposed to leave it on for 15 minutes, the next one I've got is from Nip and Fab. Now I bought this from Tesco. You have to go to quite big Tesco's for this. I think Boots also sell it for people in the UK. I think Nip and Fab, Denmark, I think they probably have. I feel like I've seen that in Sephora before. But this is Nip and Fab Exfoliate, Extreme Exfoliate. And this is only on for 10 minutes and it looks like this. And then last but not least, I've got a Korean one called Exfoliate and Cleanse. And this is actually one that I got in one of the birch boxes that I had from, which I think I showed you in the first ever video I ever filmed for YouTube. And it looks like this. So I think if you wanted to get this, you'd probably have to go onto birch boxes, birch box UKs, they're at like online web like page like was where you can get a birch box but you can also buy all the products that they have in the in their birch boxes um and yeah so they're the three that i'm going to be trying out now the one that i want to try today is the bubble sheet mask for the korea o okay 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 i can't do the bloody thing this one um only because i think i've had i think i've had that the longest i've had this for like nearly like three and a half months. So I'm gonna do that one first and then in a couple of days I'll film another one and then a couple of days after that I'll do the other one and then we'll compare them all based on how bubbly they are, how they feel on my face when I'm actually doing it and how my skin looks afterwards. So yeah, as you can see I've already got makeup on so I'm gonna be going in with my simple micellar wipes and, be root and I'm gonna remove my makeup first. And once it's all off, I will be applying the mask. So now that my face is cleaned, uh, well, cleaned, makeup free for certain um, I'm going to go in and apply the mask now it says instructions before opening gently rub the mask sachet to mix and evenly distri distribute to the mask good to know because I never when I get like a Garnier face mask or something like that or a simple face I never do that but maybe I will from now on 
Open sachet, unfold the sheet gently and apply on face. Allow the mask to bubble for up to 10 minutes, but do not leave on skin for longer than 15 minutes. Remove mask and rinse your face well with warm water. So just getting it evenly distributed. And I'm gonna push it down a bit before I open it and let's see what happens. Oh, Christ. Christ, or are we? It's already seeping out. Oh, it's already bubbling. Don't know if you can see. It's already got little bubbles on it. Did a face mask with my friend's friend once, and it was honestly the funniest thing seeing other someone else put a face mask on. Like you're used to seeing yourself look a bit funny, but to see your other friend, like see a friend distort it in the same way, is absolutely comedy goals. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, can you see it's already bubbly? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I've been buzzing to try one of these out for ages. Mm -hmm. Just definitely stab myself in the eye. And it's on, ladies and gentlemen. All right, 10 minutes. I'm gonna time it on my camera. As you can tell, okay, this is the one annoying thing about face masks. I've got like an iPhone. 10, which has got like face recognition, doesn't recognize me. And I've got a bloody face mask on. Right, 10 minutes. Start. Let's see how it goes. Tee hee. One thing I will say is because it's obviously starting to bubble, as I can feel it like tingling, like little pins and needles on my face, especially my nose, which is really like tickly and itchy. Can you see this right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, so it's been like just over 10 minutes. Sorry, I can't really talk. Not impressed really. Like it's only got bubbles around here. Nothing on my forehead, nothing on this side. Couldn't have pressed it down anymore if I tried. Like, cool though maybe it's not like I've seen it on Instagram and it's I'm pretty sure they're supposed to bubble more than that but however it has left a bit of a bubble residue on my face let's see if you can see that don't know if you can see like under my chin got like certain like bubbles but yeah I'm just gonna Look at Lisa. But pierce. On my face. I'm not gonna lie, my face itches like crazy. So I'm just gonna go wash it off with some warm water and I'll be back. So I've just cleaned that all off my face. And you can see like feel like the pins and needle bubble bits on my skin, which feels really weird. Um I feel like I look fresh. I mean, my skin's been a lot better recently anyway because Gladys fecked off. Um, yeah, I guess I'll check in in a couple of days and then we can go on with the next one. So the next face mask I'm going to be using is the Sephora Bubble Mask, which is a skin detox with protecting spirulina in it. Looks like this. And as I said before, you can only get this at Sephora. So, you, I mean, the UK are a bit buggered unless you want to order from France, otherwise Denmark, Germany, America, that you have them. I'm not sure about Australia, but I know that Scandinavia and stuff has Sephora. Um, it's Action Safety Skin Detox, Oxygenating Effect and Anti-Dullness. For skin, this is visibly fresher and more radiant. Um, so yeah, you have to leave this one on for 15 minutes and then wash off. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just gonna have to. <sighs> if I show you a close up of my face, which no one would ever like to do, especially when they look like this right now, I've got some like spots and stuff around here, but I would say that's because Gladys will be visiting this week. Apart from that, my skin's been quite good. Like my pores aren't bad. I haven't really got too many spots. I mean, I've got a few like 
marks here from where I've had spots but my spot I haven't had really a lot of going around my cheeks around here which I usually get a lot of when I'm hormonal so I guess that's done something good for me yeah I just it feels nice and soft and smooth out of a five I'm gonna give it a three though because even though my skin was looking was looking great afterwards didn't bubble that much and I feel like the reason why you buy bubble masks is because <clears throat> they're cool because they have a bubbling effect if you didn't you know if you want something skin de 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 skin detoxifying you can just go down to tesco and get a one pound fifty simple mask you know charcoal mask so if you're gonna pay a bit extra you want something a bit snazzy so let's hope this one is as bubbly i'm gonna put it on now i'm just gonna do what the korean one told me to mix it around didn't splash out like the other one either I feel like this is a lot, lot more contained oh wow it looks bubbly on the inside I'm so excited okay really hoping I'm, I'm expecting great things from you Sephora because like I've said I've had Sephora products before and they've always done this is bubbling this is pretty much as bubbly as the other one was, was when I took it off I haven't even put it on Buzzing. Ugh. Right. You know it smells so good. It smells good, y'all. Oh, it smells so good. I can't even. It's like um, really fresh. Right. So let's put this on. I look like a serial killer, or somebody's just come out of surgery. Had a really bad surgery. Okay. Gonna give this five, 15 minutes. And yeah. I'll be back. Can't talk, soz. Ah, I actually look like I've just been back from surgery. Ah, I look absolutely nuts. Could you imagine? Okay, I'm gonna stop being weird and go now. Lighters. Hmm. Can you see this? Oh my god. It's bubbly, 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 bubbly. Right, it's been 15 minutes now, so I'm going to take it off. <laughs> Mate, that is the most bubbles I've ever seen in anything in my life. Like, look at all that bubble. Look at all those bubbles. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, just got that a bit everywhere. It's my water bubble like it's super sticky as well, but I'm just gonna go rub this off my face otherwise. We just got this. So my face is still a bit wet because I've just wiped that off now. And um, I'm really impressed with this. Like it was so much more bubbly than the other mask. Smells really good. All we can do is wait for about a week till I do the next one and see how my skin looks afterwards and hopefully does a little bit of prevention before Gladys. <laughs> so my final bubble mask that I'm going to be trying is the one from Nip and Fab. It's an exfoliating mask and you leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, this was, I think, the dearer of the three of them. This was five pounds, and I got this at Tesco's. Um, the other ones were more like three or four pounds, three pound fifty type. Nip and Fab is known for being, yeah, it's a well-known skincare brand. I think they're quite big in America. They've now become over to the UK in the last couple of years. Um, I think, yeah, they are on the. Mm, I mean, they're not expensive. But they're not like at the low end i would say like you've got the low end and the high end and they're like a third of the way up if that makes any sense um so yeah i'm gonna be trying this out it says it cleanses it's for oxygenating exfoliating it's got two percent glycolic acid god knows what that means 
Glow Boost um, gives you radiance. Um, before use, rub the surface of the pouch to mix the contents well. Unfold the mask and apply directly to dry face. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes or until the oxygen bubbles have arisen sufficiently and gently peel away. Massage remaining bubbles into face and rinse off with lukewarm water. That's interesting because the other ones, as soon as you've taken the mask off, they said, just, you know, put lukewarm water on your face, whereas this one actually says to actually rub it in. Just kind of what I've done for the other ones. But this one's actually telling me to do so, so we'll see how that goes. So yeah, let's... Definitely going to do ASS this mask soon. I would just like to apologise for my face. Gladys has been and gone and left the fucking Himalayas on my face. Yeah, it's not cute. And this one here is like, it looks like a scab, but there's, I can feel a bump under it. And it's just like, I'm waiting for it to go, but I'm trying to get rid of it. But it's just, you know, when you get it's squeezed too soon. Mm. Hmm. What's happened here? So yeah, I'm going to try and put this on now. I feel like I've mixed it all together. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, oh, it's a bit of stiffy. Oh, sh you know what? I'm scared it's going to go absolutely everywhere. Oh, okay. Also, all bubbly and sad. It's very, very moist. Oh, there we go. So it's like a nice little black one here. I'm excited. Oh god, how the hell do you open this is the question now. It's a bit more tightly uh, packed than the other one, a bit harder to open and figure out. It's a lot more wet actually than the other ones. The other ones are just like normal sheet moss. This is actually... And this one smells more chemical. If that, you know, instead of like having like a nice fragrance, which quite a lot of makeup brands have. This is a bit more chemical smelling. So let's apply it to skin. Right. Ooh, it's bubbling already. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot more bubbly than the others, but there's also time will tell. God, this is bubbling. Maybe that's why it smells more like chemical, because it's actually got stuff to anti-bubble it anti-bubble it pro-bubble it right i'm gonna have this on now for the next 15 minutes 10 to 15 minutes and i'll be back mm. Mm. i'm gonna take this holy guacamole look at this i'm like santa claus ho 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 this is madness, you know. Sticky though. Take it off. It's been 15 minutes. Holy shit balls. No wonder it's five pounds. Bubbly as hell. I'm just gonna go wash my face. Oh no, it told me first of all I need to rub it in, didn't it? Oh my god, you know what? Of all the others, that was the hardest to sit on for 15 minutes because you can feel the bubbles on your skin and it's itchy. Like, it feels like you've got little... I can imagine what it's like feeling like like if you had acupuncture but loads of them on your skin. Like, it's just the weirdest sensation. Like, I'm still itching. But hopefully, it gets rid of the Himalayas. I'm gonna go rub this off and I'll be back to review it in a minute. Holy guacamole, that was foamy. Like, I was saying that the other ones are cheaper, but I think the reason why you paid the extra £1.50 or £1 or whatever, so bubbly. Like, I know at the end of the day, they are all like face masks and they're there to do good things for your skin, but I've had good, you know, skin masks before from simple skincare from Tesco for £1.50 and they've done, you know, an amazing job. So I think at the end of the day, the reason why you buy them is because you want the fun effect of the bubbles. Obviously, you want a nice skin mask, but the reason you pay more is to get the bubble effect, basically. Um, and I would say, as bubbles go, this one trumps them all. Like, this one was amazing. Like, did you see me, honey? Hmm. 
and yeah my skin feels really smooth right now like you can see like it's quite shiny quite polished um but yeah i'll check back in a couple of days and then we'll do a final review